Oxygen is a very important ingredient. It is not only needed in order for us and millions of animals and organisms to breathe, oxygen also forms one third of water. Earth just wouldn't be Earth without oxygen. And as far as we know, it is vital for most life to exist. But what would happen if Earth suddenly lost oxygen? Quite a lot, actually, and I've organized it into a nifty list for you. Welcome back to Information Overload, where we overload you. I'm Charlie Joe, right here at the top 10 scary things that would happen if the world lost oxygen. Spoiler alert, it would be very, very bad. Subscribe and turn on those notifications so we get to hang out every day. Okay? Starting off our list at number 10, no more fire. Fire, even though it's not a living thing, needs oxygen. Ever put a lid on a burning candle and notice that it goes out? Yeah. Without fire, every internal combustion engine would stop working. Internal combustion engines use oxygen in the air to burn the fuel. Every car would stop in its tracks. Now here's the scary part. Every airplane that happened to be flying at the time could glide for a bit, but it would eventually fall from the sky. There wouldn't be any explosions though because explosions need oxygen. At number nine, untreated metal would melt together. Let's call it Meltal. <laughs> Without oxygen, pieces of untreated metal would become welded to one another. Most metal surfaces have a layer of metal oxide on top. The layer of oxidation on metals prevents this from happening. But you can't have oxidization without oxygen. And without oxygen, metal would melt together instantly. Next up at number eight, no carbon dioxide. Oxygen makes up carbon dioxide. Every carbon atom is bound to two oxygen atoms, which means that if oxygen disappeared, the oxygen that was bound to the carbon wouldn't be there anymore. Apart from plants shriveling up around us because they don't have anything to breathe, concrete would crumble. Any building on earth that was made up of concrete. Oxygen helps bind all concrete structures. Actually, the CO2 in the concrete is what really binds the concrete. At number seven, you wouldn't be able to breathe. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I think it goes without saying that we as humans need oxygen to breathe. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and the rest is just other gas. We inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide, and we are not the only life forms that do this. Most multicellular life forms need oxygen to live. But if you've ever held your breath, you know that you can probably do that for like 30 seconds, maybe a minute before you die of suffocation. And the last 30 seconds to a minute of your life, even though they would be your last, would suck. Which brings me to my next point. At number six, the sky would get dark. Imagine this, you're walking around outside, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, and there isn't a cloud for miles around. Then, out of nowhere, the sky goes black, and you're suddenly unable to breathe. While you're gasping for air, you put your hand in front of your eyes and look up at the sun and check if there's a solar eclipse. There isn't. All of a sudden, it's night during the middle of the day, and you're suffocating. If the world lost oxygen with the sun shining brightly, even during the daytime, the world would get dark. This is because the atmosphere contains oxygen particles, and those oxygen particles scatter blue light. You definitely can't see it because oxygen molecules are small. So small. But light particles bounce off oxygen particles in that atmosphere. Without oxygen, the sky would look far less blue and far more black. But wait, it gets worse. Halfway there now at number five, blistering, sizzling sunburns. Oxygen makes up the ozone layer, which protects life forms on Earth from harmful UV rays. Without an ozone layer, the sun's harmful energy would penetrate the surface of the planet, leaving many of us with second or even third degree sunburns, essentially cooking us. So just so we're up to speed, a little recap. You can't breathe, the sky is black, and your skin is burning and sizzling. Oh, but I'm not done yet. We're only at number five, friends. And number four, exploding eardrums. Your inner ear is a very delicate part of your body. I know this firsthand because I once broke my eardrum when I was about 12 and I was sick. My ears were popping, so I held my nose and I blew, but then my eardrum popped. I'm not gonna show you what to do because I don't want it to pop again. Your eardrum will pop. FYI, never do that. Your eardrum will pop and it will hurt very much and my hearing in my left ear still isn't as sharp as it once was. My point is, air pressure is needed in order for your eardrum to even exist. Without oxygen, your inner ear would lose 21% of its air pressure and it would explode. <laughs> it would kind of feel like you were like skyrocketed into a high altitude and then it was just not fun. Sliding right into number three, all the oceans would evaporate. Water would not exist on Earth, which means the oceans and all bodies of water would evaporate. Two thirds of the Earth is made up of water, and water, aka H2O, is one third oxygen. If we suddenly lost oxygen, that would mean the oxygen would no longer be bonded to the hydrogen, and the hydrogen would become a free gas 
and start expanding. All bodies of water would evaporate into space and all the life that exists in those oceans would die, but not necessarily because of a lack of body of water to live in. Water doesn't only exist in the ocean, you don't only need to drink it, and aquatic life doesn't only need it to swim. Which brings me to my next point. And number two, life would evaporate. Water makes up a lot of life forms. Humans are made up of 60% water. Most of the water is contained in our cells. Our cells need water to live and we have billions of cells. Water is the human body's most major component. Without water, we would just not exist. So if the world lost oxygen, I would imagine our bodies would just disintegrate into whatever materials are not bound to water. Kind of like what happens when Thanos snaps his fingers. And lastly, at number one, perhaps the scariest of all, but you honestly wouldn't be alive at this point to witness it, but Earth's crust would crumble beneath our feet. Yes, the atmosphere is made up of 21% oxygen, but did you also know that the Earth's literal crust is made up of 47% oxygen? If oxygen disappeared, the Earth's crust would literally crumble, and everything that exists on top of that crust would be free falling to another thinner layer of the crust. The Earth itself would become a much smaller ball, essentially comprised of mostly silicone, and whatever materials didn't need to bond to oxygen to exist, and all signs of life that once existed would be nowhere to be found on Earth. Well, that escalated quickly. Huh? You've just heard the top 10 scary things that would happen if oxygen disappeared. Quite grim if you ask me. Makes you happy that we have oxygen to breathe and keep us together as multicellular life forms. Everyone take a breath with me and give thanks. Thank you, oxygen. Thank you for existing. 10 points if you actually took a breath when I took a breath. Before I leave you today, I'm gonna to respond to some comments from our video. FBI shows up to Area 51 event creator's door. G Lampro Production said, you deserve more subs. Thanks. Pointless said, so if we storm your comment section, will you or the FBI show up at my door? Mm, not saying I will, not saying I won't. I know where you live. <sighs> Diamond Jorge said, breaking news, Charlotte has a belly button. No, I don't. Free. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Click this playlist. Keep watching and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you in a future IO video. Bye. 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 Bye.